Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the Eatrian and a B-Loyalist invasion of the Tigray region, also known as the Civil War in the former state of Ethiopia. Now, as we look at the continued conflict, as we continue to get uh, reports in from the region, I think it's important to try and uh, dispel rumors, uh, dispel uh, false claims. Uh, one of those that is, is, is making the rounds uh, as we speak is that most of the Tigray region is now under the control of of the uh, Eatrian and a B loyalist army. <clears throat> and that is simply not the case. The Tigrayan defense forces, as we speak, control most of the Tigray region. Yes, as you can see from the map here, the main Eatrian route of advance was from uh, the direction of Shiraro, seizing control of Shiraro, moving down seizing control of Shire, moving down the B-30 highway from west to east, taking control of Aksum, Adwa, and as we speak, uh, Adagrat is uh, still contested. There are still Tigrayan forces inside of Adagrat. There, there are Tigrayan defense forces to the north of Adagrat, to the southwest and southeast of Adagrat. And again, the uh, main road down towards Makele is still under the control of the Tigrayan Defense Forces. The Eatrian Army is attempting to move in a southeasterly direction towards Makele. There is also a contingent of Eatrian Army Forces operating just across the Tigray Afar border within the vicinity of Burhale. Now, with that being said, that force is not a significant force, but nonetheless it is a component of the Eatrian army that is operating in the Afar region. If we look further to the south, again, the Abi loyalist forces are consolidating their control around Alamata and Korium, but again, Tigrayan defense forces are just to the north of there, running along the main road from Alamata to Mekele. There are some reports that uh, Mekele is in the process of uh, being surrounded. Now, with that being said, the Tigray region is surrounded. The uh, despotic re regime of Eatria to the north, its, uh, its mini-me ally in Abiy Ahmed regime to the south, Amharan, Eatrian, a B loyalist forces in the west, and again in the east, in Afar, Eatrian army forces, a B loyalist forces, Afar regional militia. So, yes, essentially the Tigray region is surrounded and has been surrounded for some time now. We have not received reports as of yet that uh, Eatrian army units, a B loyalist forces, have uh, have entered Mekele. We've heard reports that uh, we don't believe are true at this point of some sort of airborne operation that may have taken place within the vicinity of uh, Mekele. Obviously that did not happen. But again, uh, we believe at this point this map is relatively accurate, what you're seeing here. The only component to this map that may not be accurate is what is happening near Adagrat and, and along the main road from Adagrat to uh, Mekele. What has the uh, Eatrian uh, general staff, the uh, despotic regime of Isaiah Sefwerki, the Eatrian army, is the amount of Tigrayan fighting age males that are heading to the hills. There are reportedly huge numbers of Tigrayan fighters 
that are now heading into the surrounding hills around many of these major cities. Not just the Tenbian region. Not just areas west of Mekele, but areas around Adigrat, areas around Adwa, areas around Axum, areas to the west and northeast of Shire. The Eatrian military fully understands that it only controls where it has boots on the ground. And right now, the uh, Eatrian military, the Abi Loyalist forces, are having to wonder how long will we be able to maintain this occupation? Is there going to be a political resolution in South Africa? Possibly. But a long term occupation of the Tigray region by the Eatrian army, by the Abi Loyalist forces, is something they will simply not be able to maintain. It'll be an incredibly difficult endeavor. Yes, they have the capability of uh, going after a town or a city and achieving said objective, but conducting a counterinsurgency operation of the entire Tigray region is just something right now, and in the past and, and in the anticipated future, the Eatrian army the Abi Loyalist forces just don't have that in their uh, skill set. They can take major towns, they can use their heavy artillery, they can use their aircraft, their drones, but keeping it and dispersing forces through all of Tigray, and more importantly, the inability of those forces to enter the Tenbian region. The end game is right where we were back in, back in uh, 2021 during Operation Alula. It's time and pressure. And unfortunately for the Eatrian military, the Abi Loyalist forces, they are just not built nor trained for the type of operations that they are going to soon see. They saw it before and they were unsuccessful in combating the Tigrayan Defense Forces as it controls the clock, as it controls the time and the place where they are going to strike. As I talked before many, many months ago, the Tigrayan Defense Forces are not going to strike where the enemy is strong. They are going to go after where they are weak. They will surround those forces, envelop those forces, and then proceed to kill those forces and they won't move on to the next target, and the next target, and the next target, day in and day out. And that is what has the Eatrian military, the Abi Loyalist military, very concerned in terms of the long-term viability of a continued occupation of the Tigray region. They can do what they're doing right now for a limited period of time, but eventually they're going to run out of steam. Those conscripted forces brought in from Eatria don't want to be there. And if they want to be there right now, I can guarantee you within six months, that is going to change. But again, as always, we appreciate uh, everyone joining us today. We'll have more very, very soon as we continue to monitor and cover this conflict and again thanks for joining us and as always have a good day